Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best musical finale songs. For this list, we'll be looking at the most entertaining and powerful musical send-offs that were worthy of a standing ovation. Which of these tunes is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Being Alive – Company Fleshing out the ending of this musical was no easy feat for Stephen Sondheim. In fact, he first went through three other potential finale songs, including a much darker one called Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After Someone to need you too much Someone to read you too well. But they didn't work for various reasons, so he's said to have somewhat begrudgingly settled on being alive. Someone to hold you too close. Someone to hurt you too deep. Nevertheless, after reflecting on relationships throughout the show, this is the moment where Bobby's cynicism fades away. Thus, the character finally comes to terms with what he really wants. Somebody sit in my chair and ruin my sleep and make me aware of being alive. Being alive. It might not be as upbeat as some of the other songs on our list, but it's a powerful ending that hits us right in the feels. <laughs> Number 19. You'll Never Walk Alone Reprise – Carousel The world belongs to you as much as to the next fella, so don't give it up. Basing this musical on Ferenc Molnar's 1909 play Lilium, Rogers and Hammerstein decided that their adaptation needed a happier ending. The finale takes place during Louise's graduation, where Billy is finally successful in his last attempt at redemption. Believe him, darling. Led by Dr. Selden, the characters sing this beautiful final tune together as Billy ascends to heaven. The lyrics reportedly came easily to Hammerstein, but finding a suitably rousing melody apparently took Rogers a little longer. I love you, Julie. No, I loved you. Admittedly, the ending is rather outdated and has plenty of issues. Nevertheless, You'll Never Walk Alone has transcended Carousel to become a universal symbol of hope. Number 18. Light Next to Normal We need some light First of all, we need some light You can't sit here in the dark When Next to Normal opened on Broadway, its groundbreakingly honest depiction of mental illness caused quite a stir. The show took the immense responsibility of tackling such a heavy topic in its stride, though, and made sure to end on a message of hope, much like our last entry. Day after day, we'll find the will to find our way. Diana leaves the family so that she and Dan can each begin to process their own grief. He's devastated, but is finally able to reconcile with the past. Meanwhile, Natalie comes to terms with the situation, too. And Gabe is also relieved of his otherwise dark role as the family unites to sing this moving melody about new beginnings. There will be Number 
17, Finale in the Heights. Lin-Manuel Miranda's first masterpiece, In the Heights, is a touching tale that cuts to the core of what it means to follow your dreams, lean into your family, and figure out where your home is. The hydrants are open, cool breezes blow. This is all perfectly encapsulated by the Latin-inspired hip-hop finale sung by Usnavi and the cast. With gentrification taking over, the residents of Washington Heights prepare to leave. But after a beautiful mural is revealed, Usnavi realizes what home means to him. Thus, he vows to continue sharing the hundreds of stories from his neighborhood. And Miranda himself has since adhered to that promise by bringing In the Heights to international audiences. You hear that music in the air? Take the train to the top of the world. Number 16, Children Will Listen, Into the Woods. Look, tell him the story of how it all happened. Be father and mother. You'll know what to do. Alone. It goes without saying that most fairy tales carry moral teachings. In Into the Woods, the general lesson is that actions have consequences. Hold him to the light now. Let him see the glow. This song sees the cast reunite one final time as the characters reflect upon what they've lost and what they've learned. Careful the things you say. A young maiden. Children will listen. A sad young lad. Careful the things you do. A childless baker. It's a hauntingly beautiful tune that encourages its audience to always lead by example. The bittersweet ending marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. Careful the path they take, wishes come true, not free. Importantly, it also demonstrates Stephen Sondheim's genius by bringing us full circle. The baker starts to tell his baby of the events that led to this moment, all while we, the captivated audience, watch on. Happy ever after. My wish. Number 15, finale for good reprise, Wicked. Reminding us that the events seen in Wicked are actually a flashback, the finale picks up with a familiar melody and lyrics from the opening number. The citizens of Oz are still celebrating the apparent demise of the Wicked Witch, but this time it's interjected with melancholy as Glinda reflects upon the loss of her friend. Sharing one final song, the pair sings in stunning harmony, creating a powerful dissonance from the joyous crowds. However, their tune is drowned out by the ensemble, reminding us that it was the labels of Good and Wicked that ultimately determined these characters' fates. Number 14, Rose's Turn, Gypsy. Here she is, boys! Here she is, world! Here's Rose! It could just be one of the most iconic songs in all of musical theater, but would you believe that it almost never existed? According to Sondheim, the track came about when choreographer Jerome Robbins ran short of time to stage a ballet that had originally been meant to signify Rose's breakdown. Mama's all alone, Mama doesn't care, Mama's letting loose, Mama's got the stuff, Mama's letting go, Ma Ma To replace it, Sondheim penned a song featuring bits and pieces from earlier numbers. 
And so, the protagonist finally abandons all pretenses as an overflow of emotions pour out of her through this fiery showstopper. Someone tell me, when is it my turn? Don't I get a dream for myself? Starting now, it's gotta be my turn. Gateway world, get off of my runway. An emotionally charged number, it's held as one of the best musical soliloquies of all time and is all but guaranteed to earn its leading lady a well-deserved standing ovation. For Number 13. Raise You Up, Just Be, Kinky Boots Capping off a stellar soundtrack written by Cyndi Lauper, Raise You Up, Just Be is the epitome of a spectacular finale. Once I was afraid, but then you came along. You put your faith in me and I was challenged to be strong. The characters reunite at a footwear show in Milan as they celebrate what makes each of them so special. We're treated to some of the flashiest costumes, a fabulous catwalk from the Angels, and the entire cast dancing in killer heels. Plus, the song's message of being kind to yourself and others will likely resonate with audiences everywhere. Change the world when you change your mind. With an uplifting moral hook, catchy music, and a spirited performance, you'll still be dancing long after the curtain call. Now that's how you send off an audience. Number 12. Finale, The Phantom of the Opera paper faces on parade, masquerade, hide your face so the world will never find you. After being shown some compassion by Christine, the Phantom accepts her happiness lies elsewhere and frees Raoul. As the two leave together, we see the tear-jerking contrast of their love song set against the Phantom's loneliness. The soft buildup of the music conveys his despair, and the emotive melody leaves us all choked up. You alone can make my song take flight. As the tune hits its crescendo, we can almost feel the Phantom's overwhelming sorrow. Yet, the enigmatic finale shrouds him in mystery once more as he suddenly disappears from sight. It may not be the grandest ending, but it definitely leaves a major impact. Number 11. 17 Reprise – Heather's The Musical Listen up, folks, war is over. Brand new sheriffs come to town. We are done with acting evil. We will lay our weapons down. Following a rather explosive altercation with JD, Veronica pleads with her classmates to show each other more kindness. In this final number, she urges them to leave their hate and prejudices behind and focus on the joys of being young and free while they can. We can be 17. Still time to make things right. One day we'll change the world. Starting softly as an intimate moment between two friends, the song builds into a celebration as the students get behind Veronica's message and embrace being free-spirited teens. Maybe we won't go. This reprise is one to appeal to all audiences, whether they're 17 or 70. 
And it reminds us that no matter how old we are, we should always strive to make life beautiful. Number 10. Spread the Love Around, Sister Act the Musical All things being even, here's what I believe in, nothing matters more than love. Their methods might be different, but by the end of Sister Act, both Mother Superior and Dolores find that they have more in common than they initially realized. When all's said and done, both just want to spread a little love around, and music is an ideal way to get their mutual message across. Start a conversation, go a celebration, and whatever's in you ask. Welcoming and sharing, simply caring, that's what life is about. The grand finale is as heavenly as it is funky, with an entire chorus of nuns decked out in glittery habits performing for the Pope. This number combines the glitz of a Las Vegas show with the rousing spirit of a gospel choir. Whether you're a churchgoer or not, it's hard not to clap along and then break out in applause. Number 9. One Reprise – A Chorus Line One singular sensation. A lot of popular stories seem to be about aspiring artists seeking superstardom. This long-running musical shines a spotlight on Broadway's unsung heroes, however, the chorus. One singular sensation. Every little step she takes. One a chorus line centers on several individuals who all stand out with colorful personalities. When everyone's brought together for the final number, though, they all blend into each other as one singular sensation. You know you'll never be lonely with that all the dancers are wearing matching outfits only makes it harder to distinguish one person from another. As toe-tapping as the finale might be, it's also kind of melancholy considering that all of these talented performers will forever be part of an ensemble, never shining as stars. Such is the nature of showbiz. Number 8. King of Pride Rock, Circle of Life Reprise, The Lion King Beauty and the Beast was the first in Disney's long line of enchanting Broadway productions, ending on a high note. However, it was The Lion King that redefined just how ambitious and spectacular a Broadway show can be. Like the 1994 animated feature it's based on, this musical commences and closes with the triumphant circle of life, both literally and figuratively bringing the story full circle. <laughs> As jaw-dropping as the opening number is, the finale packs an even greater punch since we formed such a strong connection with our heroes. Seeing the entire cast reunite as Simba and Nala's cub is presented is the ultimate celebration of unity, destiny, and, of course, life. Number 7. The Flesh Failures Let the Sunshine In – Hair Tiny 
touching on peace, sexual freedom, and hippie subculture, this controversial rock musical did such an exceptional job at encapsulating the 60s that many of the songs would become anthems used for protesting the Vietnam War. The finale in particular is a tragic yet inspiring anti-war number that still resonates in today's political climate. Life is around you and in you, as a As a young free spirit prepares to ship out in a military uniform, his fate is sealed with a swan song. The grim fate of this character gives the song the sentiment of something you'd hear at a funeral. At the same time, the soulful choir injects a hopeful and even blissful essence that encourages us to let the sun shine in. <laughs> Number 6. Happiness. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Well, I don't know, Linus. It looks like an airplane to me, the way the lights are blinking on and off. Schroeder, is that an airplane or a star? I believe that is a star, but it could be a planet, you know. Like its source material, You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown isn't exactly driven by plot, but is heavy on character, atmosphere, and charm. The ending is appropriately simple while also being profound as the Peanuts gang reflects on the little things in life that make them happy. Happiness is being alone every now and then. And happiness is coming home again. With a soothing melody and pleasant lyrics, Happiness is a song that can appeal to audiences of all ages, reminding us that even during bleak times, you can still find a silver lining. For happiness is anyone and anything at all that's loved by you. Charlie Brown may be a blockhead, but he ultimately learns that making the most out of what life gives you is the key to being a good man, thus earning Lucy's respect. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Number 5. Tomorrow is a Latter Day, The Book of Mormon. Don't worry, little body, know this much is true. Tomorrow is a latter day, and I am here for you. As much as this satirical musical makes fun of the Mormon religion, and religion in general, it also encourages people to never let go of their faith, as long as they're channeling it towards something positive. <laughs> Tomorrow is a Latter Day is a surprisingly optimistic number, motivating us to work towards a better world by doing good to others. As for what the future holds for our protagonists, it's entirely possible people will be preaching the Book of Arnold one day. The teachings may be out there, but it's the message that really counts. In addition to being clever and hilarious, this is a life-affirming show tune that leaves us feeling hopeful exiting the theater. I still have my gifts in my school. Number 4. Finale B. Rent. There is no future. There is no past. Thank God this moment's not the last. At the heart of this musical is a message about living life in the now, as any day could be your last. No other road, no other way, no day but today. 
this moral is only made more meaningful knowing that creator Jonathan Larson died before Rent made it off-Broadway. The finale perfectly embodies the show's underlying themes as Mimi pulls through and everyone celebrates. Although Finale B combines several prior songs, it still stands out as a wholly unique number that leaves every listener uplifted. And the final appearance from the deceased Angel is especially joyous. No day but Rent is such a powerful story that at the end of an early off-Broadway production, it actually left one young audience member saying, Thank you, Jonathan Larson. It seemed like an eternity until this young voice spoke out. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan Larson. Number three, You Can't Stop the Beat, Hairspray. You can't stop in avalanches of races down the hill. Every song in Hairspray is a treasure, but the composer saved their absolute best song for last. Simply put, You Can't Stop the Beat is everything you could possibly want out of a grand finale. For starters, it makes impeccable use of the entire ensemble, with each major player getting a solo or duet. It also wonderfully sums up the show's overarching themes of acceptance and embracing the changing times. With infectious instrumentals and energized lyrics, the whole finale is like a party you never want to end. While the song itself may come to a close, the catchy melody will never leave your head. You literally can't stop the beat. Number two, who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Hamilton. Let me tell you what I wish I'd known when I was young and dreamed of glory. You have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story. As the curtain closed on In the Heights, it seemed like Lin-Manuel Miranda had forever topped himself. He somehow managed to reach even greater heights with Hamilton, however, which continues to enthrall audiences from beginning to end. Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? The play depicts Alexander Hamilton as a founding father who doesn't want to miss his shot at going down in history. Ironically, his ill-fated duel with Aaron Burr would overshadow many of his achievements. And when my time is up, have I done enough? Will they tell my story? Oh, I can't wait to see you again. The finale, which is primarily helmed by Hamilton's widow, not only explores Hamilton's life, but also contemplates the concept of time and how history portrays us all. We all live, we all die, but the story plays out much differently depending who tells it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Superstar, Jesus Christ Superstar, an upbeat number where Judas reflects on the events that led to this moment. Nowadays, Hot Honey Rag, Chicago, always leave them wanting more. For now, Avenue Q. Which lyric change in this song was your favorite? Don't stress, relax, let life roll up your backs. Except for death and waiting taxes, everything in life is only for now. Each time you smile. 
Finale Ultimo, The Impossible Dream Reprise, Man of La Mancha. It may not be a happy ending, but it sure is powerful. The Addressing of Cats, Cats, a positively emotional ending sure to get the audience on their feet. And call him by his name. Continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Do You Hear the People Sing Reprise, Les Miserables? Alone, I wait in the shadows. I count the hours till I can sleep. I dreamed a dream, cause it's to Les Miserables is musical theater at its most epic, and calls for an especially magnificent final curtain. This finale starts off on a slow, heartbreaking note as Jean Valjean reunites with Cosette one last time. And remember the truth that once was spoken. Love is to see the face of God. Accompanied by Fantine and Eponine, Valjean ventures to the afterlife where a choir of other departed souls are waiting for him. Building and building with each passing verse, this production number encompasses a sense of loss while also being victorious. Do You Hear the People Sing demonstrates that even when people die, the ideals they fought for live on. Outside of the show, it's taken on a second life as a political anthem that many use as a form of protest. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.